better after a win today than you did the past couple nights, right? Oh yeah, yeah, a lot better. It was, uh, we kind of had a mindset we knew we were going to win today, so uh, we just came out and definitely executed our plan today. You ended up finally getting that homer. You seemed really close last night from where we saw it. Looked yeah. like you might have had it. How did it feel to act the go yard after last night? It just felt good. It was fair. So, uh, yeah, yesterday uh, it's pretty upsetting with the uh, foul home run they called. And then at the bottom of the ninth, you know, only getting into the warning track there. So today it felt really good to uh, get one out there. It was like, you know, just that final inning where, you know, you got, Love said you had a lot of play, play discipline. I mean, you know, you force and walks, hit by pitches. I mean, that was kind of a wild way to end it. Yeah, no, that's what we do. We, uh, we always find ways, you know, to we always say pass the baton, like get, it up, get up to the next guy. So that's what we focused on a lot in that last inning. Obviously, you know, you, you, you the team has lost Nick Romano, Riley Walsh, who started off really well at the bat, but then you ended up starting to get in the lineup more and more, and your bat has really been pro progressing well on this team. How would you, what have you been doing in the batter's box that you think maybe can help the team as far as offensively going forward? You know, a lot of it goes into the mental game that we preach here. Uh, just knowing what pitch you're hunting and being on time for that pitch is what's important that we do, and we always work on it every day. I know the last couple of weeks haven't gone the way you guys wanted, but is it good maybe, so to speak, to kind of have a clean slate now? You know, every weekend from here on out, it's going to be conference play. You got your rival South Florida coming up next week. Is that kind of good to kind of put this this phase of the season behind you and get ready because, you know, you're 0-0 zero, zero right now in conference? Yeah, exactly. No, it's it's always good to know that whether you win or lose, you always just put a uniform on the next day and you get to play. So if we just keep that attitude and know that we're good enough to compete, that will be just fine. You, you come off the, the you know come off the bench in different positions over in previous seasons. How does it feel to start getting more, getting the starting lineup more and more this season? It's good, you know. Uh, especially me, I've worked really hard, and uh, Andrew Sundin also working really hard getting in the lineup, and uh, just a lot of people are hungry and ready to play. And that's the mindset we have. What do you what do you think this team has learned through this through this series that they can take against FAU and into conference play? Just that we're a lot better than what we've shown. Even this week, even today, like we know we're we're still a lot better. We could have put up a lot more runs if it wasn't for the ten run rule, you know. So uh, we just know that we can compete against the best, and we should be able to beat teams that we should. Thanks, Noah. Thanks, Noah. Thanks.